So here's a little update. Here's one of the pressed Finnish uh, markers. His flight to Finland when you left at uh, 9 o'clock today. So, yeah, he's working on figuring it out. Nice to be out, chilling. And a little update on the situation. It's uh, my crazed wife and her kidnapping and extortion scheme she's got going. And uh, like my mom suggested yesterday, okay, let's give her the 30,000 and make her sign the paper so they can leave. No, yeah, the, we've got to step it further than that. She's got to sign for over full custody over to me with no visitation or any other rights whatsoever under the presence of a lawyer the lawyer i will arrange with getting today i will also go talk with the tourist police friend i have eddie he's been a, a police in norway for 36 years i know him pretty well he uh, want to help so but the thing here is if this is bail money then she's still going to need to go court then she should just get it over with because whatever she does now will go off on the total time she spends in jail so if she has one inkling of intelligence she gives the kids to me now and we will help with a decent lawyer and with money while she in prison. Because Thai prison is no joke. You're just in an overcrowded cell where there's so many people that you cannot even lie down. You don't get no blanket, no pillows, no nothing. Food is some rotten fish and shitty rice once time a day. So without any way of getting any income there, you're pretty, you know, your time in there is going to be very, very sucky, very bad. And for the criminal charges she's then facing, she's going to face a long sentence. But if this money gets her free and off and out, then this ar arrest is a, a private thing for this policeman. So this involves in a corrupt policeman then we should not pay. I've spoken with the other guys here, there was a retired policeman, and you should not pay, because then you're incriminating yourself. Because the internal affairs will then find out what's going on sooner or later, and then we are on the hook for aiding and abetting. So then we cannot pay. Of course, uh, all these will be, have to discuss with a lawyer, which I will start that procedure today. So these are our options. I already offered her. Okay, you can come here. Uh, I'm finish and speak so damn loud. I have to go over here. But you can come here. There's no police coming in here. These are uh, ex-generals who owns this place. These people are very rich. The police will not come in here without asking permission first. So you can have sanctuary here until you can figure something out. As long as you bring the kids. You can see the huge house in the background there. That's the big bus. So yeah, the police don't come in here without calling. I have to call them first and figure, you know, asking. And of course, they are a well-paying customer and they love the children. So they uh, will just, uh, yeah, they won't uh, say or do nothing as long as they say the children are okay. I have offered her this, but I get no answer. I get no answer for anything. These two other ones I have not offered as of yet. I figure that will have to wait until we have spoken with a lawyer. I will soon go, just get my coffee in me, and then I'll go and uh, get a hold of the lawyer and uh, talk with Eddie, the tourist policeman. So updates will be coming.